Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez from Parada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. <coughs> in this tutorial video, we will learn how to use combo box in visualbasic.net. Before we start, if you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial. So let's get started. I am already here in my Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition Integrated Development Environment or IDE. So I have here a form. I will try to make this program as simple as possible so that you can able to get the concept of using a combo box. So here the form. So let's say for example, gender checker in vb.net this will be the title of our program gender checker so we have two types of gender male or female so we let us go to our toolbox and then we drag here the label in the label we can change the word from label one what is your gender question mark we are asking uh, asking questions so by default the text is very small so we can select Arial regular we can have 12 and then let's us go back to our toolbox again and then select checkbox or checkbox not combo box so checkbox so Checkbox one. Copy again. We can have drag checkbox one. We can have here Arial regular. We have twelve. And then we have go to the text. And then let's say for example this one is male. Okay, remove this one. the space again by this time instead of male we can have female now the next step that we will do guys is to put some code so here all we need to do is to double click this checkbox male so here if check box one dot check equals true then message box we can put you are a mail okay so let us copy again by this time all we need to do is to change this to two and then then the word here you are a female okay so after we have done writing the code let me explain how the code works now the code is very simple if checkbox that check equals true meaning the button here is being checked and then it will display a message using the message box that you are a female on the other hand if the user select the second checkbox that is the female this code will be execute checkbox to the check equals to you are a female so after we done writing the code let us run to check okay so gender checker in vb.net let us check the mail so once it is checked we can clearly see that our program respond by displaying a message box and there is a message you are a mail click ok and check how about the second checkbox the female when we click hmm does not respond why uh, 
Ah, okay. There is a mistake. I would like to copy this code on below. Second checkbox. Okay. Run again the code. Okay, we have here when the second checkbox is being clicked, it will display a message box with a message you are a female. Uncheck male, you are a male. Uncheck you are a female. So that's it. We are already created a very simple program using Microsoft Visual Basic.net to use checkbox to determine whether the user gender is a male or a female. I hope that you have learned something new in this uh, lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. This is Jake Rodriguez from Parada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Until to the next video tutorial, bye bye for now.